Our next inductee led Evansville North to the 1967 state championship, Robert A. Ford. He lettered four years at Evansville North High School, playing for Hall of Famer Jim Roush. He was a member of the 1967 state championship team, scoring 62 points in the final two games. He was a high school All-American, averaged 24.2 points a game for his high school career. He lettered three years at Purdue University, and was a member of the U.S. teams that played in the 1970 World University Games and the 1971 Pan American Games. And he was an academic All-American in 1972. Robert Ford. It's a pleasure to be here this evening, and I want to thank the committee for even considering me for this honor. It's unbelievable when I see the people who have gone before, and I, I walked through the Hall of Fame today and, and looked at the, the gallery of pictures, and it's just unbelievable uh, that someone from Evansville uh, who, who didn't even know about basketball until uh, my mother married into a family that uh, had another fellow in it, a stepbrother, uh, who taught me everything that I knew about basketball. He, he taught me how to drive, how to shoot. I'm sorry he can't be here this evening. He passed away a number of years ago. I, I know he would have enjoyed this and it would have been a special occasion for him. I want to thank those from uh, Evansville who came tonight. Uh, coach Rauch is here and uh, freshman coach Hoagland uh, when I was in school is here. I really tore him up when I went in first time to the eighth grade here. We had a little practice and I was late and he said, to the guys that were there. He said, hey guys, you know, take good shots in the scrimmage tonight. No hook shots, none of that junk, you know? First three shots I took were hooks. They went in, thank goodness. The coach was after me all, all the rest of the year about that. The other guy I want to thank this evening is uh, Bob King from Purdue University, also a Hall of Famer. And uh, It was very special when he gave me a, a call and said that uh, I had been inducted. Uh, coach, thanks a lot. Uh, you, you mean a lot to me. You always have. and. Uh, I look forward to uh, many more years of being together and talking basketball. And I'm also sorry they took away our donut shop. So I enjoyed that uh, morning talk that we had from time to time. My family's here this evening sitting over in the corner. Uh, my wife, Polly, sons, Rob and Andrew, and daughter, Kara. And my mother is sitting over in the corner too, Lucille, she's here this evening. Uh, cousins from Evansville, uh, Betty and Forrest Marshall. I appreciate all of you coming, and those of you from the television station in Lafayette that came this evening, thanks very much. I hope we're still on the air. It's, it would be it would be nice. Um, and those of you who read page 76, you know, it's one of those uh, thank you things in the program, and it has Bo in it. That's not another son, that's our dog. You know, I was really upset because we have a cat, Amanda, who didn't make it. We also have 14 gerbils and five fish. And I was really upset that they didn't make it. But uh, it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be part of this Hall of Fame. I thank you all very much. Uh, there's only three or four mountaintop experiences in your life. The establishment of your faith, when you meet your wife and you ask her to marry you and she says yes, and the birth of your children. And then tonight, the Hall of Fame just doesn't get any better than this. Thank you. The voice was familiar. I've heard it someplace before. I'm not sure. <laughs> the next inductee he led Richmond's Red Devils to the 1992 state championship.
seven inductees to the Hall of Fame. These are basketballs from the um, state finals in the 1930s. The West Lafayette coach Dave Wood was on the 20th anniversary team. This is John Wood, one of the um, to be based on material possessions or a position of power and prestige. Most famous. Success must be based on how first you come to legends. meeting your own particular level of competency or perspective. Our efforts on the court are only building blocks for achieving success in life, and that should be our main purpose in being here. Even though it can never be attained, perfection should be our goal. Giving less than your best effort. For the attaining perfection is not success, regardless of many percentages or how successful others may perceive you to be. You cannot be truly successful without peace of mind. And that only comes through the self-satisfaction of knowing you made the effort to become the best you are capable of becoming. Your physical condition, your and cooperation. And um, the order of the boys goes up there, y'all do. This is more Indiana basketball hall of fame
uniforms from Indiana All-Stars. This is Michelle Joseph from Purdue. The most valuable player in the NBA in 1964, and the winner of three NBA All-Star Game MVP awards. He led the Milwaukee Bucks to the NBA Championship in 1971, and retired as the NBA record holder in assists and second league all-time scorer. This exhibit is one-on-one with Vigo. When you measure my vertical, you measure your vertical with against us correctly. Okay. Each of these bricks was purchased by some person to make the state of Indiana. And this is the outside of the Hall of Fame. This is the girls' exhibit. some more pictures in the enshrinement gallery.